Hey guys, welcome to Black Screen the Game. I mean, uh, I'm actually just sitting here. I'm about to play the Unreal Engine 4 Elemental uh, Elemental demo that uh, Epic Games put together. I'm just going to go through and show you guys some of the things that I'm really looking forward to. So let's get started. Oh man, here we go. We got, oh, look at this rock, the brickwork. Yeah, it's kind of pixely. I have to use a quick time player so it doesn't look that great. But uh, let's roll out here and bring it to the first little section here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna point out a couple things. Uh, they're pretty subtle at first. Um, actually, might even go forward a few frames. There we go, first, so first of all, you'll see the particles, of course. Uh, we'll talk about more of that later, but you also see some of the some of the smoke particles here. It also look really good due to some of the, the what's called global illumination that they've added. Uh, their cloth system now is a lot more improved. Uh, you can see as these flags and then dynamic chains, and of course, all this is being dynamically lit. Uh, let's move forward till the next thing. I'm gonna skip this first one. But as you can see, the cloths are still moving nice and cool. Oh, there's a first one. I'm gonna keep going though. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Lens flare right there. You see that right there? This is what they call per pixel lens flares. And what that is, is it, it takes a shot and instead of having to add individual lens flares for light sources, uh, what it'll do is go through and take the bright portions of an image and actually make a natural flare, which they actually implemented into the CryEngine 3, which I thought was really awesome. I wish was in the Unreal Engine 3, but then they went ahead and did it for, uh, you know, this one, uh, Unreal Engine 4, which is one of the reasons I'm really excited for it. Uh, but yeah, so you can see the lens flare there, you know, like stuff on the lens. And uh, if you look closely right here, you'll see the first sign of a Dovahkiin's helmet, which they added in there. Uh, someone had said there was like a Diablo three reference in here. So I don't know if that's a something else, but I don't really know that enough to find something for it. Uh, so we're gonna keep going here. Oh, there's another shot at lens flare. And here we go. We're gonna turn to this guy right here. He's sitting, he's he's dormant. Uh, first thing I wanna point out here is that you can notice the bokeh depth of field, bokeh, bokeh, however you wanna pr pronounce it. This is an advanced uh, depth of field uh, effect that makes it look like a real camera lens uh, for the different, you know, blur uh, shapes and stuff. So that's that's a really awesome stylistic uh, thing about the Unreal Engine. They did that in three, but it's obviously perfected a lot more here because you can see some of the edges are a lot cleaner, which is one of the problems. Uh, you see, it just kind of moves up here. You see some of the awesome particles being affected by the depth of field too. Uh, I know Unreal Engine 3 had some problems with that, uh, but this one's looking a lot better. Uh, another thing you'll notice here is it's taking this light source. Uh, one thing with the global illumination and the advanced specularity is that it actually takes light sources and different materials and reflects them all. And it's, it, the Unreal Engine 4 is all about doing stuff in real time that you couldn't do before. And it's it's really spectacular what they've done. So uh, let's move forward here. You can just tell how awesome, the specularity looks so much better here than usual because it's taken a direct light source. Okay, let's move forward here. It's a pretty normal shot. You can see a little bit of a flare right here from one of the brighter light sources off screen. Look at that. And they do have the effect now where it uh, it's kind of like an HDR effect or like a, a way your your eyes or pupils dilate or you know contract or expand to the to the light in the room. Uh, here we go. We see all the chains again. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that! Look at that! You see those particles right there? That is hundreds of thousands of particles in a real-time rendered cutscene, not a real-time rendered, a real-time rendered scene uh, that is pretty much unheard of in anything other than CG. I was talking to Dan about this, but most games, you can see it right here too, just the way it wisps around is, is incredible, the way they've added that. And you can see that the door's open now, it's reflected a new, new light source in here onto this material which is more real, you know, dynamically lit stuff. Uh, but I was talking to Dan and I was saying that most, most game engines have anywhere from like a 200 to a 500 limit for particles per scene. And this, now that they've enabled, you know, like a GPU acceleration, they can have hundreds of thousands, like up to a million with no problem of slowing down. 
And you can see it here again, just the, the mass amount of particles that are coming out of here that make it look incredible, like unheard of kind of thing. Uh, th this one, I don't know everything about this shot right here. Uh, there is one that it, it almost looks like there's like a, a simulation. I'm going to go back to that. Uh, 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 come on, go. There we go. Okay, so it's almost like there's a simulation, kind of like a liquid effect uh, or like a tessellation of some kind of glob or something like that. I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. Uh, but you can obviously see that the emissive material here is actually casting light inside the scene, which is something. And it's a real time, you know, reflect, I mean, like casting of the light thing. And it's, it looks amazing. You can actually see a lens flare popping out since this is bright enough in contrast to everything else. So we'll keep playing here. This is the next thing right here. Fractures. Uh, that didn't look too great. Paused. You can see the real-time fractures. This shot right here, again, showing, like, this liquid simulation. I don't know. It might be something they just built and to do, like, a pre-baked thing. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to find out. But you can see, like, the, the dominant lights are casting all these lens flares everywhere, which is amazing. More fracturing more of the movement and the way some of this is coming together makes you want to think it's not just a material moving because you'll see like this stuff just molds together and doesn't actually change shape at all it just kind of becomes the same it's a couple things here with the depth of field you can tell it's in game because it's not as clean as uh, a lot of you know like pre-rendered stuff but it still looks good so he's gonna get up you see the bokeh depth of field in the you know and the stuff and his the red ref Oh, lens flare! I mean, not lens flare, particles. Oh, look at that, another Skyrim. I'll wait till it lights up a little bit. Boom! You can see the Skyrim helmet again. And, you know, many more fractures going down. We'll talk about that in a second, though. Pretty much everything is really casting, you know, with the glo global illumination, it's really casting, you know, uh, the material effects and bouncing them around the room in real time compared to... You know, built in the Unreal Engine 3, you could only really do it baked, and then the dynamic lights were kind of intensive, especially with shadows. Uh, but you can see that right here we've got some oh, more real-time fractures, which is also near unheard of. Uh, usually those are pretty, pretty baked into different meshes and stuff. So that's what I love about it. And then just particles everywhere, more fractures. And the cool thing about those fractures is that they're, they're lit. Uh, and they're dynamically shadowed very well compared to normal. Oh man, more particles, more fractures. And look at that. See, and look at right here is one example. You can see that the the emiss the emissive material on his neck is actually casting a reflective, you know, onto this reflective armor here. You know, you can see the light on his from his eyes and his neck and stuff, which is pretty spectacular. Probably use spectacular a lot in this. Oh man, look at that. You got a flare. And see how it's it's adjusted to the indoors, so outside's pretty blown out right now. And you just have all this these dynamic lights like casting light on, you know, the that from the chains to the ground. And if you watch up here, you'll see all this crumble and everything crumbling. It just looks amazing. Looks amazing, and then all the lights. See, it, 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 you can see right here, like this light is casting. Oh, look at that! They kind of made a mistake right there. Look at that. If I'm looking at that right, that's like hovering in midair because the fracture happened. That's pretty funny. But you can see, like these these fractures right here are actually getting light casted on them from this, and uh, it's just dynamically. Everything's. That's what makes it look so good is how dynamically lit it is and how everything's casting its own. Like different reflections. We're going outside to a blizzard. Many mountains. I don't know if this is this must be modeled or it might be the terrain. But look at how many snow particles there are. That's just like that's insane. That is insane. And it turns back to the fire. And if the, it's showing, that's pretty much what's going on here. Is the particles are going up and it's. The, the lava and stuff is casting a light on these and you know they're darker on top and it just looks beautiful. Lightning, didn't even notice that before. But look at that, that's amazing. Particles, more particles, and Unreal Engine 4. Man, I am excited. 
Oh, wow. I was going to try and stop it right there. There we go. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much a, the what the tech demo. They, they were actually showing some stuff on uh, real-time rendered hair, uh, which is, you know, just... I don't even know how they do it, but they're just working through GPU acceleration, I guess, and really utilizing the GPU compared to the CPU, which is usually what slows games down and stuff. So I'm really excited, though. I can't wait. They they did a whole new UI layout and did some amazing things with Kismet and be able to update stuff real time, uh, like code and stuff to mess with different gameplay aspects and Oh, I'm so excited. What was the other thing I saw? They, just the the whole idea of having reflective surfaces, like real time rendered reflective surfaces, and you know the, the advanced specularity. It makes me want to get Unreal Engine 4 right now. Maybe even make a game out of it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>